I'm late, I'm late, I'm very late. Very late, very late. Hold on, I gotta put my seatbelt on, guys. In the meantime, hopefully I remember, cue the intro. Look at that moon, guys. Oops, sorry, I'm a little shaky right now. That's beautiful. It's uh, it's two uh, two one. Blackhawks are down one point. So hearing an interference call, pretty good. That's a power play for us. Someone from down the wall. Dylan didn't realize that. Ah. He takes the minor. I'm tired. Sorry. Second power play of the game for Chicago. They are over one. Second power play. Thank God. They're over one too. Two one late in the second period. <laughs> so this is important. Captain did gave it to Cave. Shaw's in front of the net. Cave goes on top to Keith. Caves, Eakin attacks him. Chicago maintains possession. Kane lost it, Eakin clears. Target changes up front. And Chicago, Keith the shot at the line, rushing it into the corner. Kane got under Daly, worked it back up. That's blocked. Fuck. Vern Fiddler got it. Whipped it out. You know, if they have those two point men, Sharp and Keith on the other side, I don't they can care about the that. The pass, but they can't when they're on their natural sides. Kane firing short side. Kane firing the bond. And because it takes them a little extra time, you can see a few shot blocks by the stars. That's why it's such an advantage to marry right shots with left shots on opposite sides of the ice so you can do it quickly. Fuck! <laughs> so I'm delivering to the uh, to this place called the Cozy Budget Motel. And uh, <laughs> that's a little freaky. That's freaky. I'm so done with this place. So done. This place is fucking weird. It's fucking like, oh, there's another one. Look, there's a fucking another one. <laughs> this is fucked up. I'm so done. I'm so done with this place right now. <laughs> that's fucking weird. If I was like higher drunk, <laughs> I pulled in this bitch. Oh my god. That would freak me the fuck out. I'm probably so zoomed in my face right now. I don't know which one's going away. Nope, that's going towards. There we go. No. No. It's not going to do it. That was freaking weird. I don't like it. I don't freaking like it. Oh boy. I'm like literally sweating them freak me out. I like turn the corner and I just saw like a little white person I'm like it's like what the fuck is this? All right guys, I gotta go back to work. So I think my brother is a gangster Because he has a lot of, a lot of This on his I just on a CD That just not anything like that but <laughs> DJ, is there something you want to tell me? Are you a you a secret gangster, or uh, or something? Out of my fucking mind. I just okay. I mean, DJ, this is your lifestyle. I'm not gonna question it, but I am a little worried. I mean, I like this music, but it's my type of music where I go to parties and dance to this music. So. TD's got some explaining to do tonight because this kind of worries me a bit, just a little bit. There's a lot of Wiz Khalifa too, and if Wiz Khalifa, you know, introduced him to the weed, if he, uh, yeah, <laughs> something we learn every day, guys. TJ, uh, TJ listens to rap. Something new every day. Barackos is closed. <laughs> it's freaking hot this car. Damn. But yeah, still working, guys. I'm off in a minute though. So, give me a moment. Uh, uh, do you see those blue lights right there? Yeah. It's a fucking Impala. A Malibu Impala. Well, guy wasn't paying attention, and I've already been hit there once. I've seen someone get fucking smacked on the intersection of 
135th and Cicero. That intersection is fucking deadly. Motherfucker didn't hit his brakes. I saw him. I'm like, he's going about 50 miles an hour. I'm not going to go yet. Light turns green. People are honking behind me. And I'm like, just wait. Just wait. Guy blows right through the fucking intersection. Well, not right there. I guess he stopped. But finally, his back tire was way past that line. I'm like, well, you already did half the work. You might as well just fucking go. So I just pulled out slowly and everyone's like honking and going flicking the guy off and I'm like yeah yeah that would have been one of you guys is dead okay so that intersection is fucking scary and every time I pull out I look both ways I make sure I don't care if that lights green at 2 o'clock or 1 o'clock or 12 o'clock or even 10 o'clock because that's when Thursday Thursday start I do not pull out I fucking wait that was what she said I do not fucking go like right away because I know one of these motherfuckers are gonna hit me. And I don't need another accident. I don't wanna get hit in this car. This is TJ's car. I already been I already hit something with this car and I don't wanna do it again. Yes, he knows. I've told him. But it was some scary shit though. I mean I fucking last time it was me and Joey driving and we were driving my spark. No, we were driving the Buick. No, what were we driving? Were we driving the spark or the Buick? We were driving the spark, because I said you just saved my fucking car. Yeah, we were driving the smart, the spark, smart. Oh my god! All right, we were driving the spark, and I pulled out, and I was not looking both ways. All of a sudden, I saw, I heard Joe, stop! So I stopped. All of a sudden, I just see in front of me uh, a trailblazer just fucking pass right in front of me. I'm like, what the fuck? I sped up to them. I just fucking honked. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Two dumb blonde bitches were driving the car. I, me and Joey almost died <laughs> that day. Oh, that was some scary shit though. Like, I've been in accidents. They're not fun. Uh, it's terrifying. The first accident I've ever been in was in the Spark. And just how he hit me, it fucking, it, it will never leave, basically. It will never go away from me. Because of how traumatizing it was. Look at this shit. They're doing some work on this. And... Yeah, that's blinding as hell. I don't know why they have it on at night. They're not doing anything. Except for pulling trucks in. They don't need lights. They have lights. Anyway, uh... <coughs> no, my accident, the guy hit me and he drove off. You're going to hear me talk about that a lot because that's one thing I will never do. If I get in an accident, I'm not fucking driving. I'll stop. I got the time to stop. I, you know, I'm not one of those guys that is going to go, Oh, no, I hit a car. I got to... I gotta go, I can't I can't get another ticket, no. I'm gonna fucking bite the bullet, take the medicine, you know? Swallow it. Be a fucking man. Don't worry, you know, your car is gonna be okay. Your car will live, but if you drive off, do you understand what happens if you drive off? This guy hit me going 50 miles an hour and I was at a five mile an hour slowdown. He hit me that hard, you know, I'm surprised my airbag's nothing deployed, you know. You know, I'm fucking happy. I'm walking still. My back shot to hell still. So I'm like, you know, it's scary. After, you know, you'll look down. I got hit. I looked down. I'm like, looked up and I just saw that car drive off. And I'm like, are you, are you fucking serious? It's some scary shit. It's horrible. I don't wish anyone in the world would, yeah, like, I don't, I would not go up to someone and say, I hope your car gets hit and the guy drives. I would never say that because it's terrifying. You don't know what to do. It was like instant hit ran. It did. It felt like like a, a millisecond. Like there was nothing in between that and getting hit. I just remember looking up and seeing him drive off. And it's it, it's an adrenaline rush actually too. But it was scary. I don't know why he drove off. Don't know why. Oh, he told the actually I do know why. He told the cops he's late for work. Yeah, that was his excuse cop let him have it though he said are you fucking serious he goes you understand that you can get a, a, a ticket no ticket oh, four minutes sorry i'm keeping this going on too long i just want you guys to know if you get in an accident don't fucking drive off don't it's not worth it you go to jail if you do it's called uh leaving the scene of a crime it's legal all right don't fucking drive off that's stupid all right rant's over guys <laughs> let's go drive around the neighborhood and see if anyone's awake Hopefully at least one person's awake tonight. One. I don't like going home at 2 o'clock in the morning. I don't feel right. Because then I don't sleep. I just stay up on my phone the whole time. 
Oh my god, what the fuck? Really, TJ? Really? Really? What sucks is this was playing the whole time I was talking to you, and I didn't notice it. Oh my god, TJ, you think you have explaining to do? You know what sucks? I ranted, and I was supposed to go to the bank. Completely forgot, like, I'm in my own neighborhood now. And I don't feel like wasting more gas just to drive to the bank. My life, guys. My wonderful life. <laughs> oh, I hope I don't underdraft or overdraft. I apologize. I hope I don't overdraft. That would be really bad. And uh, here's my street. Oh, God, this camera makes everything look orange. I gotta fix some settings on this thing. Because, I mean, that light. Well, I mean, alright, that light is a little orange, alright. There you go. Yeah, no, that's right. 